Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Oh, we got a great one for you today. Had a few questions asking me, what's my favorite gallery plugin? And it's hands down, it's this Divi Supreme Modules Masonry Gallery. Supreme Modules is a premium plugin, but they've got, I think it's 50 different modules for the Divi theme. Let's just roll down this page a little bit. And this is my gallery go to if I've got a lot of images. And of course, you can click on them. You can open them in a light box. You can go through. Like most galleries, but you can order, organize the columns in orders. You can put captions in and headings in and things like that. It really is a great little module. So let's get started. I'll walk you through it. It's so easy to use. Let's enable the visual builder here. Uh, before I enable that, let's go down to the dashboard. And as I mentioned earlier, you need Divi Supreme Pro for this. And you can find the link below this video if you want to check it out. But it comes with 50 extra modules, as I said, and a bunch of things like pop-ups, libraries, short codes, etc. Have a look at our Divi Supreme if you want to learn more about that. But if I'm going to install any extra plugins on my site functionality for Divi, this is my go-to. So let's go back over to this page. We'll enable the build builder. Now let's go down. We'll delete this. In fact, we'll delete the whole row and we'll start from scratch. Let's start with a whole new section as well. I'm going to make it a regular section. I'm going to put a single column in mine. I'm going to pop in my Supreme Gallery. And here, all these blue ones here are the ones you get with Supreme. And like I say, I think there's about 50 of them now. They keep adding new ones. I'm looking for the Supreme Masonry Gallery. It's right there. As with most galleries, click on it to add your images. And to select multiples, click on the first one you want. Click on the last one you want. I just held my shift key down while I was clicking on those. It selected all in between. If you want to deselect one or unselect it, just hit the minus there. If you want to reselect it again, just hit the plus. While we're in here, if we look over here, if you select any individual one, you can add a title and a caption and a description down here. And we'll come back to that in a minute. So let's select all these and add them. And there they are. Just like any gallery module, you can go in there. You can move these by simply grabbing them, put them where you want, drop them. If you decide you don't want that one in there, just hit the little trash can, etc. Okay, well, let's go down and take a look at our settings down here. You can choose to use an overlay if you want, just like the Divi gallery. And once you've got that on, you've got a little overlay and it's got your image title on there also, which is a kind of a nice little feature. But I'm going to leave that one off for the moment because I'm going to put zoom on hover on. That way, when we hover over, it zooms out. That's a nice little effect. We've done that with CSS before now. If you want to, they're nice images. and You can use a light box with that switched on. Pretty sure you know what's going to happen when they click on it. It's going to pop out into a larger version and they can scroll through there. Moving on down, using horizontal order, it's going to put them in the order that you put them in there. So I'm going to leave that just like that. Down below, we've got the usual link. I'm not going to link it to anywhere because we've got light box and everything here. That's everything I need going on there. Let's move over to our design tab. Now, here's a, one of the great things about this. In the grid layout, you can decide how many columns you want. So I think I gave it four just now. Let's give it five, perhaps. Let's roll this up to five. And as you can see, that's put five columns in there. Let's just take that down to four as I had it earlier. I think I prefer that. And if you want more of a gap, you can slide this up to the right. If you want less of a gap, I think I had them touching earlier. Take it all the way down to zero. And that's a really nice effect. And as this is masonry, different sizes, they're still going to stack on top of each other. And it looks like I've got about the right amount there. 
That's great. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little black color in the back of my row here, just so there's no little gaps where the images are slightly different sizes there. And now I'm going to make this row full width. So we've got sort of full page gallery as we had in the beginning, which is really eye catching. So let's save this. While we're out of there, I'm going to delete that section on the top that's not doing anything. I'm going to go into the row itself. Like I say, I'm going to give it a black background, always find background under content there. Got a bit of panning on the top, as you can see. I want to make this full page or full width anyway. So over in design, remember we're in the row here, go into sizing. Width, I'm going to take that one up to 100 and max width. I'm going to type 100% in there. And we've now got a full width page, just exactly what we want there. Don't want that little black bar at the top, and I don't really want any spacing from our section. So still in the row, still in design. Let's close up sizing. We've got spacing just down below. Get rid of that little black bar there. Just put a zero in the padding. Hit the chain, it'll do the bottom. And we'll do exactly the same for our section. Blue tab for the section, we'll go in there. Over to design and spacing, do exactly the same thing. Panning top zero, panning bottom zero. Fantastic. Well, let's go into our gallery module here and I'll show you how you can put the names and the captions in. Let's work on this image right here. So we're gonna go into that module. I'm gonna hit the plus to add a new image we've already got this in here so I'm just going to select this one check marks are telling us it's already in the gallery and over here we can give it the title that we want it let's say smiling lady wizard and for the caption let's let's say gallery magic with Divi supreme modules obviously you put in what you want to put in there once we've put that in there we'll just hit the select it's not going to add it anew. It's just going to use the one that's on there. But if we save our changes now. We'll do a quick refresh. Now if we roll over. We've got that. When we pop it out into a light box. We've got our little title down there. And the caption. And that's a really nice little feature have on your site. Let's just go back in here. I'm going to go down in the settings. I'm going to turn the light box off. And let's go back into that gallery, into that same image. We'll go down and hit the plus. And if you choose to turn the light box off, let's go back into that image you can go down here if we roll down to the bottom there's a little link url down here we can put in a link where we want them to go when they click on that image i'll put my website link in there we'll hit select and also let's turn on our overlay and i want to change the overlay color so i'm going to go over to design and overlay you can actually choose to show the description as well as the caption if you want to overlay color i'm going to make it generic blue but i'm going to take the opacity down so we can see a bit of the image behind it just like that great well let's save our changes now we'll save the page changes save job and let's exit the visual builder Great, if we go down now, we've got that nice little overlay. And if I click on it, it's going to take us to a new website. And here's that little website we built in full yesterday. And of course, we can go back. And if you wanted to, you could go into the description. Let's do that. We'll go into the description and say, click here to go wherever it is you want to take your people. So let's enable the Visual Builder once more. And we'll go down. And again, I'm going to hit the plus to take us to the media library here. 
And let's perhaps work on this image next door here. And once you click on that image, you'll notice it's up here. Or we can go down. Let's put a little description. Click here to visit system 22 blog. And I'll put my blog URL down the bottom here in the link. This time we'll open it in a new window as we're leaving the site. And actually while we're here, I'm going to change that one to do the same in a new tab. Great. And of course you can have a different link for any of these pictures. So let's hit select and we'll move on. We'll save our changes. Save the page changes again. And exit the visual builder. If we go on down now, we've got that little caption here. Click here to visit system 22 blog. If I click on it, it's going to open my blog in a new tab here. And if we go to the one next door, we click on this one. It's going to take us to that little website that we built yesterday. And that's a really cool feature. Like I say, you asked, this is the one I go to. Those crazy numbers right there are actually the name of the images. These are AI generated images, as you could probably guess. <laughs> but like I say, that is a wonderful gallery and it's my go to if I've really got to make a stunning gallery page for somebody. And that's just one of the many features of, of the Supreme modules plugin. Like I say, I've got a whole playlist on Supreme. Do check it out on our playlist page. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.